Hey guys, it's Lexi and I'm doing a special video today. I normally do gaming videos or occasionally crumpet videos or the rare cooking video. But today uh, I have something extra special. So earlier this week I received a package from one of my longtime viewers in Sweden and um, a Finnish candy store opened up near his um, family's place. And so as a result, he thought it would be a fun thing to send me these really, let's just say unique Finnish candies. Um, we're gonna just get right into it here. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to pronounce these things, but here is the first one. It's, uh, the company is called Bon Bon for all these candies and I think this is supposed to represent a hillbilly, an American hillbilly. I'm not really sure though, because, uh, well, for starters, that looks like a soccer ball to me, not a uh, football or baseball or whatever. But you see there's a, uh, a cap on this rat's, I think it's a rat's head, uh, buck teeth, they're wearing overalls, uh, sitting on a tire, grilling what I believe to be a Swedish fish uh, in the picture. And so there's the overalls. The It's just a really weird picture. And there's like a seagull. And this says, Losses Bladsen Sopel Dinga Katisaki. Now, I think that that might be finish that I just butchered and um, without much ado we're going to cut this open and just taste this candy. Now I have to admit I'm not a big fan of hard candy generally and I don't think you should eat a lot of it because it will rot your teeth and you should always brush your teeth after eating it but it's fun to try new things so this is not something I eat every day. Although some of you will say, Lexi, you eat a lot of candy. Don't be fronting. Don't be fronting, Lexi. Uh, all right, so this has a very strong anise smell. So there is some licorice candy in here. Now, I'm going to show you guys the variety of candy. I'm going to try to avoid something that will be licorice because I personally do not like the taste of licorice. Some people say it's an acquired taste. I've never acquired that taste. Um, I'm going to look for one that looks relatively safe. There's this red fish. Kind of like the fish he has on his uh, pole there, the rat. I also noticed there's a refrigerator behind the rat, like he's sitting on a muffler. There's a plastic water bottle. I think this rat may be at a garbage dump. I think that that's the, what this rat is. It's showing you, uh, I don't know, like a Templeton type character at a garbage dump, right? Uh, because in the background you see uh, like an apple core, a crane that picks up like cars or garbage. Uh, so yeah, I think this is a reference to being at a trash heap. All right. Wow. Okay. This fish is sweet and tangy. But also a little salty. Just a little bit. Not a lot, thank God. But there is enough salt in this fish to concern me a little bit. And there's going to be more. That was a very interesting flavor. Now the ingredients on these candies are, the first ingredient is sugar, then glucose syrup. And these are in a foreign language, so I'm kind of translating. Um, like Danish, Norwegian, Swedish, I think are the languages for these ingredients. And Finnish, of course. And it uh, looks like German as well. And then the next ingredient is ammonium chloride after glucose syrup. And actually salt is um, two ingredients after that. There's a lacquered spulver, 
or what that is, and then salt. And oh my gosh, it's so strange to get salt in a sweet hard candy as an American. It's not something we're used to. Ooh. Mmm. My lord. Mmm. 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 There's more salt coming out into my mouth. And. Mmm. No. Mmm. 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 I think I'm tasting licorice. My god. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my lord. Oh. Mm. Okay. Mm. I'm glad I chose a little one at least. I mean, they get bigger in here. Let me show you some of these. Well, there's a yellow one. I don't know what that's supposed to be shaped like. Um, it's like snot rock. And then these say bonbon on them. <sighs> mm. And then we got little green pillows. All this candy looks so innocent on the outside, but mm -mm. it's not innocent. No. So this is your loss of plats and. Sopildinga Katisaki. Now, Finnish people, I'm sure you will eventually come to this video and you'll be like, my God, you're butchering our wonderful language. And I apologize in advance. Please know I'm not doing bad pronunciations on purpose. I just don't speak Finnish. And I'm trying at least. I'm trying, right? Do I get points for trying? Not only am I trying your candy, I'm trying to pronounce your long words. All right, we're going to put this one aside. It wasn't so bad. I have to say, it wasn't the worst thing I've ever had. It wasn't the best, but it was definitely unique. And I'm glad I tried it. All right, this next one we're trying is um, also from Bon Bon, also Finnish. And it says, Murkun Lirut Mix Kirpaya. I don't speak your language. Surt de semir mix. I think this literally is translated ant piss. And this is why I think it's ant piss. It's the picture. Look at this picture. Ant piss. All right, so let's get our trusty scissors. I'm trying not to ruin the packaging, so I'm opening it with scissors. So. Um, I've already opened some of these and tried a few off camera because I didn't have a chance to make this video yet during the day when the lighting is good and I was eager to try them. So admittedly, there's a couple that are already opened. All right, Ant Piss has the similar smell and slightly different ingredients list. Stuff that I don't know exactly what it is, but it's similar. It's similar, okay? Um, I'm really scared about trying this because of the other things I tried. So I'm going to try this pink and green one. And here, let, let me show you what's in the bag. So they're multicolored, most of them. There's actually, let's take another one out ones that are like kind of broken so i know that i'm going to be getting something in the middle there i don't know what that something is and i'm scared because it's called ant piss okay um i know it's not literally ant piss because i don't even think ants urinate like mammals do i'm sure they have different expulsion systems uh, but the fact that they call this picture is not it's not something i, I necessarily think will be good so let's I mean, you can simulate all kinds of flavors with chemicals now, right? Oh. Wow. Mm. Oh my God. 
so sour, like a warhead. The first thing you taste is it's like super sour, like a lemon on steroids, kick in your mouth. Okay. Now, nice flavor. Okay, good. Now it's like um almost like a Starburst flavor. Slightly fruity, tangy, but a hard candy, obviously. Pleasant. Okay, we're in Happyville right now, taste bud wise. The first thing you taste though, super sour, super warhead like. But it doesn't last, thank goodness. Mmm. That was pleasant. I'm having a good old time with this candy, enjoying it. Okay, I'm gonna check my phone message. Because I sent a message to the friend who sent me this asking him something about this. Let's see what my friend said. He said it's okay. He said that one of the candies he sent was actually Swedish, so we'll get to that one. Um mm. Mm -hmm. Not bad. I mean, as hard candy goes, it's okay. Like I said, I'm not a lover of hard candy. If I eat hard candy, it's usually like mint to get the taste out of something. Um, to get the taste out, like, you know, after you eat a tuna sandwich or something. But um, it's okay. I'll never really seek out hard candy. I, I like savory stuff personally, like jerky you know beef jerky salmon jerky i'm a big fan of savory foods like actually i'm not a huge fan of candy though i do find myself eating it a lot because people keep gifting me candy i do have a sweet tooth but it's generally i like fats and sweet this is just sweet without fat so <clears throat> i'm trying to get through this to see if there's anything inside the uh, candy itself, deep inside. We have a few more candies to get through, so I'll probably just edit some of this out, fast forward this or whatever. Because mm -hmm. I think you guys have better things to do than to sit here and watch me eat candy all day long. Okay, I think I'm at, I did a lot of stupid stuff because I'm expecting that I just fast forwarded that last bit. I'm at the center now. I'm at, about to enter the center. Let's bite it. Okay, there was nothing inside that one. Oh, all right. So that one was more of a surprise at the beginning. I don't know if the other candies in the bag will offer different types of surprises, but um, we got through it. Yay, let's have some water. I have to say that was not bad at all. In fact, out of all of the ones I've tried, that was one of my favorites. Um, the initial sour punch was unpleasant but it was very short and it like I feel like it prepared my taste buds you know it, it woke them up it was like wake up taste the rainbow wait that's a different candy don't sue me okay so one more bag that I have not opened yet and that's um it says uh I think that means rotten fish and there was a picture of a cat um it looks like it was electrocuted. Well, here. Eating this rotten fish. Now, I have to say, I'm not exactly excited about eating these little fish in here because it looks like there's a ton of salt. I think there's salt all over this. Um, and I'm, I'm not a, you know, 
Scandinavians love their salted shit, their salted candy, their salted fish. They just love salt in all their stuff. They don't have a problem mixing it with sugar. But Americans, we typically separate salt and sugar. You don't see a lot of mixture. Salted caramel, yes, I get it. There's some things that will have some overlap, but it's rare. We generally do not like to mix sweet and savory. But here it goes. I'm going to be brave and I'm going to take one from the bottom, which will have more salt, okay? There is the fish. It looks like there's some salt attached to it, but I can't tell. Bottoms up. Okay. Well, it's probably my least favorite so far. It is, um, it does have salt, but not as much salt as the, um, the, the, the rat on the garbage, the, we'll call it the hillbilly rat. Not as much salt. And actually salt is lower down on the list here. Eating this isn't fun. It's not a pleasant flavor. It almost tastes like burnt plastic. But, I mean, if you look at the picture and what this is called, ratnefisk, I think that means rotten fish. Let's actually look it up. Oh, oh, it's got more, oh, 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 mmm. Now, supposedly the stuff inside this is called a strong salmiac powder filling. It's like a salty licorice filling. It's flavored with ammonium chloride. It is common in northern Nor Nordic countries, including the Netherlands. I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time talking. And northern Germany. Like the ammonium chloride gives the um, salty licorice an astringent salty taste. Uh, let me tell you, not pleasant. Mm -mm. As somebody who dislikes licorice. Ooh, okay, I got through that. I got through it though. I'm, I'm very, I'm extremely proud of myself for not spitting any of this out because it is pretty gross to somebody who doesn't like licorice. Like sweet licorice is pretty bad, but if you make it salty, it's another level of bad. And actually I know people who like licorice that cannot stand salty licorice. So this was hardcore what I just did. And yes, I've had Young Laroar. I gave that away. I got a package with Young Laroar around the holidays. I'm sorry I don't have any for this video, but it's probably the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. But this is not a Young Laroar video for those of you that are aware of what that is. All right, so we have three more hard candies to get through. Uh, and as much as I dislike hard candies, we're gonna get through this. All right, so this is Drunken Duck, I think. Um, Endemat, uh, Endemad, Endemat, and Linun Loisat. I think it's in the different Scandinavian languages. Probably like Finnish, Swedish, Danish, or Norwegian. Um, basically, this is one that I already opened and tried, and I know I'm going to think it's okay. So, yay, we'll get some of the licorice out of our mouths. This is what they look like. And they're basically, the flavor that I would describe this as is like a butterscotch, like a Werther's Original. For those of you that are American and know what I'm talking about, or maybe Canadians also know Werther's Original. It's a little salty too. All these candies are a little salty. They have different levels of salt. So it's not as good as a Werther's Original. I know they didn't pay me to say that. Now, because I'm not a big fan of hard candies, I was thinking, okay, so I normally do game streaming, for those of you that don't know, and I have people who donate, who support me. I was thinking maybe 
some of my donors towards uh, package time will get some of these if you guys want to try them yourselves. And uh, so far, I'd like to do a special thank you to this year's donors. The people who actually uh, are uh, kind of supporting this stuff. So thank you. Uh, <clears throat> special thanks and much love to the following individuals of 2016. We're just going to do the 2016 individuals. Uh, from the uh, most recent down to the first donor of the year. Pit Fiend, Majibu, Stone, Brodo Soho, King, Donnie, and Drakes. Thank you so much, guys. You know who you are, and you'll probably be watching this. So, <clears throat> I do want to do nice packages this year. Typically, how I send out packages is I require a minimum donation amount to cover shipping and costs and stuff. So, I think last year I did a minimum of $100 in donation per package sent out, but I went overboard and I ended up spending a lot of money in packages. So, I'm raising the minimum to $200, but I'm going to send packages out as far as Europe. So, I can ship as far as Europe. I can ship to Canada, of course. I can probably ship to Mexico and South America. So I'm probably gonna do packages and include some of these candies I'm trying. And they're specially sealed little Ziploc bags with uh, information of which one it is. Because I don't think I can finish these. These were a lovely uh, gift. And thank you, Eric, as well, for the candy. But the truth is, mm -mm. Not for me. I'll just get through this candy. I'm not a big fan of having this thing clinking around my mouth as it, like a hard candy goes. I'd rather eat, if I'm gonna eat candy, these are pretty good, we'll get to these next. Actually, wait, we have one more hard, no, two more hard candies. Well, not next, soon. Or like a creamy candy. Or like my favorite, actually, I've gotten several packages from Eric. My favorite is the nougat. I love nougat. It's like Nutella in candy bar form. I don't have any right now, but I'll put in a picture into the video. You see nougat. I love you, Nougat. Okay. There's two more candies left. And um, mm, I'm going to do the unpleasant one first. So this is the ultimate troll candy. I'm about to troll myself. The first time I had it, I didn't know what was going to happen. It's called a uh, cloak slam. It's like sewage material. That's a, a, a loose translation there. And you see a sewage rat, it is literally like, ugh, even the sewage rat thinks this is disgusting, ugh. Um, so it looks like kind of sewage, like poop and pea nuggets and, you know, waste, waste. Things you don't necessarily find appealing. Now I had a black one, so this time I'll have a orange and one with a black stripe. Now, this is citrusy. I'm very tangy, but not unpleasant. Like we're talking actually kind of good when you first put it in your mouth. And you're thinking, wow, Finnish people can make delicious candy. This is, this is great. And you're happy and your taste buds are happy, but I know what's coming. Oh, I know what's coming. My happiness will be short-lived. Okay. I might keep these as troll candies to give to, like, kids that, like, annoy me. Oh, here, have a candy, little Johnny, little Susie Q. 
And that's how you get your door egged on Halloween, Lexi. So I actually think this candy is the most delicious initially of all the candies I've tried. Now, I don't know if they all have this surprise that I'm speaking of, but you don't know when it comes. You don't know. Oh, it's coming. My roommate described this. These are his words, not mine. Like a baboon coming in your mouth. You got a salt infusion. A slimy salt infusion in your mouth. Oh. Oh. Mmm. No, that's not good. That's not right. What is wrong with you, Finland? What is wrong with you? Oh my god. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. It's so unpleasant. Mm. Mm. Oh my oh, mm, mm. I'm trying very hard to finish this. Oh, oh, mm, mm. I'm not acting. I can assure you, I knew this was coming and I'm still like not prepared for it. I always forget how bad it is. Whatever you remembered, it's worse. It's worse. Mm. Uh. Okay, I bit it. Oh, mm mm. Big, big, big mm. wave of it. I don't, oh, all over my tongue. Mm. Okay. I survived your finished candy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Please send me beef jerky next time. Uh, all right, this last one is um, Magiclatter. I think that means seagull poop because yeah. Yeah. I think that's um, what that means. I should show you guys what it looks like. Now, seagull poop should be like whitish green, but there's a, like a black streak in it, like almost like seaweed. Like, hi. I am sushi. And it's got little grids. Hmm. Okay. This has a strong licorice taste, but it's sweet. Now look at the menacing look on this bird's face. I was like, ah, ha, ha. That bird is uh, not a nice guy, okay? That bird is getting ready to ruin your day. You know what this seagull poop candy makes me think of? There's a very famous onion headline, which is seagull with diarrhea barely makes it to crowded beach in time. <laughs> seagull with diarrhea barely makes it to a crowded beach in time. I want to let it go. Seagull with diarrhea <laughs> barely makes it to a crowded beach in time. That's what this is. That is, um, that is one of the best onion headlines I've ever read. And I only know about it 
because of Tig Notaro, who was a female comedian, who mentioned it in one of her stand-up routines. And I only know about her because of Netflix, so. Okay, so. This one's of safe candy. There's not anything to worry about. So we've gone, we've gone past the hard candy. No, just kidding. It's candy. It's okay. Let's do some fun candy for Lexi. Um, we have these Stora Hjartan. Now, this is uh, a Swedish candy. Okay, it's not all Finnish here, okay? Um, it is a jelly heart, kind of like a gummy bear consistency, but not exactly, not exactly. It is somewhat gummy. And it says on the front, Aroma, which is the company that makes these. It is very difficult to read this Aroma. It has a pleasant flavor. Just, um, you know, that fruit flavor. I'm getting a lot of, like, a Twizzler flavor almost. Like a red Twizzler almost. Not quite, though. It's very difficult to describe these flavors because they're unique. Um, but there's similarity. And the consistency is somewhere between a uh, gummy bear and like gelatin. It's really hard to describe this consistency as well. But this is kind of what it looks like on the inside, okay? I like it. There's actually something I enjoy. It's not hard candy, so thumbs up for that. It's not my favorite thing though because it doesn't have chocolate. But after chocolate, I would say gummy bears are up there. It was pleasant. You know, there wasn't a picture of an ant pissing or a rat choking or a seagull pooping or uh, a cat, you know, eating rotten fish and being shocked by it or a hillbilly rat or a drunk duck. It's just a little heart. Apparently, this is a popular Valentine's candy, I've been told, in Sweden. And uh, they make little deco... It's normally sold in, like, little decorative heart boxes. Cute. Some uh, Swedish girls and boys making each other happy. So, thank you for the heart candy. <clears throat> now, I'm going to have something that is thoroughly going to be disgusting but it's funny and I, the reason this will be discussed this is back to Finland back to Finland we're heading east again we're heading east um, this is called Pepe XXL by Panda Paksu Pepe now <laughs> being the adult that I am this does make me think of other things But since there might be children watching this, we won't talk about those things. We're going to be bigger than that. We're going to rise above these types of things. Now, the reason I'm not looking forward to this is it's, it's licorice. So I'm only going to have a bite and the rest is going to my roommate, who will probably eat the shit out of this if it's not too salty. Now, I'm opening this here. Oh, it has a strong licorice smell. Oh, no, 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 girl. Girl, you're not gonna like this. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna like this. Now, I want this to open as smoothly as possible, but it's, um... all right, <laughs> we got it. Now, looking at this, I'm gonna take this whole thing out. It makes me think of like rubber. It's really hard 
Oh, that licorice smell. God. Oh, God almighty. And it's got like, t like it almost makes you think of a tire or some sort of industrial item. You could use this as a straw. I was able to breathe air in and out. So this could be a straw that you could stick into your water and like, I, I don't know. All right. Oh God, I hate licorice. I get stuck in your tea. Oh God, I hope you guys are appreciating this because Mm. 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 Okay. As somebody who doesn't eat licorice, I really dislike this. It is sweet, at least. Maybe people who like licorice will, will like this. I'll have to ask my roommate. He will probably eat this. It makes me think of black Twizzlers a little bit, but not really, not quite. I don't really typically eat licorice, so I don't have a lot of reference points, but it's not salty. There's no salt in it. It's sweet. And it's not as bad as I thought it would be, given the way it looked visually, but mm -mm. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. All right. The next thing we're going to have, you know, coming after eating that Pepe, this almost seems inappropriate. And I, I didn't plan it that way. I just want to get the taste of the licorice out of my mouth. We're going to have nut cream. Oh my God. I swear this is not planned. Okay. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. This is all Eric's doing. Blame Eric. Eric the Swede did this. Nut cream. Okay, so. Um, hmm. Well, it says Classic Kin Sedan 1961. So I think this company has been around since 1961. And I think people were more innocent in 1961. This is the original. I don't think if you said nut cream in 1961, the average person would think dirty things. But we're living in the age of porn. And you cannot possibly ha say this to anybody who's like past puberty or at puberty and not get a little giggle, okay? All right? Um, now, you can tear it here with your hands or your teeth if you're an animal, like this. And then you squeeze it into your mouth. <laughs> you squeeze the nut cream into your mouth. Are you taking notes, guys? No. Um, all right, let's let's eat the nut cream. This is Swedish, by the way. This is Swedish nut cream. This is what it looks like. That's your nut cream. It's hazelnut with chocolate. There's not as much chocolate as I like. It's mostly like milky, sugary. I prefer a darker hazelnut, but it's not bad. And it's extremely sweet and also has peanuts and I'm not a big fan of peanut. So this is not my favorite thing, but it's okay. It's a good palate clearer. When you've just eaten something you really dislike. And the first ingredient is sugar and then it's vegetable oil and then it's fats, which are shea, Palm in varying proportions, then the hazelnuts and peanuts. Peanuts are bas basically a legume, they're not even in the nut family. Then the cocoa, which see, cocoa should have been higher up, peanuts should be X'd out. Natural vanilla aroma, emulsifier, sunflower le lectin. And um, let's, we're not even going to look at the nutrition facts. Let's just say it's not good. It has traces of milk. I thought I could taste a little bit of milk, but I think I'm, I'm tasting like the shea and palm oil and stuff in here instead. It's not as good as Nutella. You will definitely, if you want to get these types of calories, just, just get a jar of Nutella. 
but it's not bad and it's called nut cream you're eating nut cream okay okay so that was Swedish nut cream that I just had that was probably one of the more pleasant things I've just put in my mouth today and finally I've saved this one for last because I've already had one of these I wish I had more of these these are pretty damn good this is a Finnish candy called patkis and I'm probably saying that wrong but I'm trying at least um, these patkises are chocolate and they're kind of uh, got a harder shell on the outside a little bit softer on the inside with mint so it's a minty it's the it's the nice thing to have at the end of all of this candy okay so these pot kisses I'm gonna show you what they look like oh I broke this well that's fine I broke it while I was opening it they make me think of Twix Twix bars right for those of you that know Twix and this is what they look like on the inside. Mmm. I'm going to taste a little bit, for those of you that have ever had one, like a Frango Mint. They used to sell those at Marshall Fields. I don't know if Macy's still carries them. But you get these fancy little mints in a box. These are almost identical in flavor to a Frango Mint. Mm. In my opinion, just as good. Except Frango Mints come like pieces, like little square pieces. And this is a more of a, a Twix shape. It's not crunchy. It's soft. It's textured. And it's delicious. It's actually, I was losing my faith in Finnish people to make proper candy and then I had this. But I think I was just sent all the troll candy. I think you guys do have good candy in Finland. It's just you didn't send it to me. Eric the Swede sent your dirty, dirty candy. Blame those Swedish neighbors. Mm. But <clears throat> this is quite good. In fact, I'm I'm quite happy eating this. I'm glad I got past all that hard candy, and now I've moved on to my little treat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yes, I love this shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yes, I love my pet kiss. I wonder if that means anything, like kisses or something in, in your language. It makes me think of um, the word kiss because K-I-S, but I bet you it's not anything to do with actual kisses. See? 